Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to test out this beam cutter to see if it's really a useful tool for cutting large beams with a regular circular saw. So the other day, I got a text message said, hey, you should check this out, and it was a Facebook reel. And I get those messages all the time. Everyone who knows me knows that a big part of what I do is review equipment and tools and things like that. And a lot of times I just skim right by them because I'm not interested in it. But this, if it works, will be perfect for what I've got going on. You guys know I just recently got the sawmill and I'm getting ready to build a shed for the sawmill. And I'm probably gonna build the main structure out of eight by eight beams. And if you're setting those in the ground and concreting them and trying to get them exactly level on the tops, that's kind of hard to do. You're probably gonna be cutting some of them off. And I've been watching my friend Tony from Tony's Tractor Adventure do the same thing, and he gets up there with a the chainsaw and cuts them off. And that works, but it's a little bit tricky to get them flat and square. Plus, every time you go to do one, you got to start the chainsaw. So let's get it out of the box and give it a try. Okay, looks like this is pretty simple setup, mostly put together already for you. In the box, we have an extra chain. These chains are made by Oregon. So, really well-known brand for chainsaw chains. And just a couple bolts here. This is supposed to fit 99% of circular saws. Now, if you have one of those worm drive circular saws that has the blade on the other side, they have a very similar product made for that saw. The little paper stapled to the front says, Quick Tips. And I did read the quick tips. And it says you don't remove anything but the saw blade. If there's a, any kind of a washer or anything under the blade on your saw, leave it there. After you take your saw blade off, you'll match the threads on the bolt that came with your saw to this longer bolt that came with your new kit. Whichever one the threads match, that's the one you need. And you'll take a beveled washer that also comes in it, put that through, and that's what you use to bolt your new beam cutter on with. Then we've got this bolt right here. This slides in to your blade height adjustment or your blade guide. And you're gonna screw one nut on here and then the other one will go on after and tighten down your fence. So now we're gonna push that fence all the way down. We're gonna Swing this out of the way. And you can feel that kind of drop into place. And we're gonna put our bolt in. I try not to read instructions, but I glanced at them for about two minutes. Got a feel for this. If you can operate a circular saw, you can handle this installation. Push the blade stop down, tighten this one bolt up. Then we're going to match this up with the flat part that comes on the new saw and put our other nut on. So honestly, setup couldn't have been much easier, but the question is, does this thing really work? So let's find out. And for today, we'll just run this off the Jenniverse little solar inverter I've got. I should definitely probably read some instructions on this. And even though it's a small cut, it seems like we should still have a little bar and chain oil on it. The instructions say Constant lubrication isn't necessary, but every few cuts or every it actually says every 10 to 15 cuts You should hit, put some kind of a lube on it And so I got my rust patrol here All right, I'm gonna put a speed square here to run this fence against So that worked. It wasn't hard to push through or anything like that. 
Maybe one of these days I'll remember to put on safety glasses before the first cut throws stuff into my face. Now these beams right here are rough cut oak that I milled and they're about twice as heavy and about five times as hard as wood you're going to get from the lumber yard. So if it'll cut these, it'll cut whatever you got. I don't know what other kind of test I could do with it, but when you see me putting up the new sawmill shed or building a deck down by the pool, I'll be using this thing and we'll get a more in-depth long-term review. But for today, I think it's a pretty good product. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this if you want one. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.